Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, uh, wherever you may be. I uh, is JPL here, and I am uh, making this video here. I'll be sharing screen of a new series I'm going to do. Oh, that's what I wanted to add. Yeah, uh, of basically number 55, part one, secured party predator, first treasury pact of Puerto Rico speed round. Because I'm going to go over in just a minute now is that we're going we're until going into Libra season tomorrow at four something. We're going to go over that now. Uh, speed round. I'm going to see if it'll fit um, the fall equinox. The fall equinox is a very beautiful energy. I love the Libra season because everybody is shuffling around, you know, hustling to get everything battened down for the for the winter. And you can feel that energy. It's starting to get cold. I put on long pants today. It's September. You can see here it's September 21th. I am sharing. Yes, my microphone is on. And uh, let me see. I'll put my volume. Oh, my volume is up just in case. And uh, you see, it's 9:21 here. So we're going to go over in just a minute. So what I'm what I'm getting at here also is that I'm going to do a series. Therefore, uh, every time you see 55, and I that's what I want. I knew I forgot something. So I wanted to golden mean ratio. Golden mean ratio. I went ahead on the numbers of my sequence right there. That was a beautiful energy, so, all right? And what is it when you call it um, one plus one equals two? Yeah, gold mean the math. This is important. Then I guess Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci numbers. It's because why I picked 55, because it's Fibonacci. You could see right here, it's 55. I already know I could do it by heart. We're not even looking at this. Watch. Um, look, one plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus three is eight. Eight plus five is 13. 13 plus eight is 21. 21 plus, uh, 21 plus uh, 13 is 34. 34 plus 21 is 55. See, I could do it all the way up to there. And then I know the next one's 89. And then it goes up to 144, you know? Uh, yeah, that's how it goes. I, I know them. I, I know up to there, you know? And after that, 256, you know? So back to that. That's why I picked, so the Fibonacci sequence, if you could see here, it's 55. I always use that number. I, I use that number so much, I love it. Even my social security card, I can't even show you, it's got five fives in it. If you count the E, it starts with an E, then it, go, so then it would be six. My first five numbers of my, back of my social security card account, you know, the, the, the bond number is, is, is got five fives in it. Plus the E makes it six, very powerful. So I must be destined for greater things. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I thought I'd share that with you next. So where I was getting at with this was, uh, I'm gonna continue this. So for, for example, the part two is gonna be office supplies, which I have here. Uh, I'm gonna change this, but it's basically office supplies for a secured party creditor and USPS registered mail toolbox. I'm going to premiere this tonight at six o'clock. Uh, it's on 921. And then, but I'm going to change the part. It's going to be part two, most likely. Uh, so uh, every time you see 55, part one, two, three, I'm going to only use this code now. SPC standing for secure party credit. FTP is first treasury pack. And then I'll follow it up with le the legal notice to the man is definitely coming first. That should be something because uh, you know, you get people, you get uh, you know vampires and pirates trying to prevent you. So you you're gonna you're gonna want to have some protection. So you want to have that. I made videos on it already. How that should live right on your dashboard as you're going through this beautiful, beautiful Libra season. And uh, and then I'm gonna one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get a, a ticket book printed, you know, of of my. Um, of my billing costs so I can write them out a ticket. I, I include that in this video of the office supply video. 
I include a little bit, but I know I did it in one of the other videos too. Uh, you know, but you'll have to you know, kind of look. Uh, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna go back. And in this video here, the office supplies, I show you exactly. Uh, I even show you a leather case that I bought. Um, that's gonna have you know your if you, you can get your bounty hunter's license uh, badge and 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 you have your ticket book right on the side of it. I didn't take a picture of it, but you're gonna have to watch the video and see. Okay, next. So I went over that. I'll put this to the side. Um, I went over that. It's a golden mean ratio. Golden mean ratio. This is beautiful. You know, this is where you get your feng shui. You know, the pyramid has this inside of it, you know. Um, and then you got your Fibonacci numbers here. So that's why I picked the series 55. And where I'm getting at with that is this. See, I go, I'm at 49 right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be publishing uh, video number 49. I, I, these are, you know, sometimes ones that I do in preparation and then I change the number. I could change the number, but I want to keep in some kind of a sequence because I can't remember. And then we could go back in a year and say, oh, yeah, you got to watch video number 46. You know, uh, it's real important or, or whatever. Or you got to watch the whole series 55, part one, two, you know, and um so that's why I skipped. So I skipped six numbers because I wanted it to be gold mean Fibonacci. You know, this, so this way we can get some positive energy. Plus it's Libra season. It's the balancing of the scales, fall equinox, you know, beautiful. It's all divine. It's all in divine timing right now. So I'm done with that now. Okay. So here, what I want to show you is this is today's chart right here. You could see uh, September 21st at 10 a.m at 10 a.m. in New York, New York, New York, United States, New York, right? And then, you know, this is the chart and you could see the sun is at 28 degrees Virgo, 28 degrees Virgo. Well, let's see what else we could see on this, if there's anything interesting. Okay, it looks like Mercury's uh, trying uh, or squaring Pluto right here. Let's see here. Mercury, 25 Libra. Pluto is at Capricorn. Twenty four. You see, that's why the, the line is thick. That's how you interpret these charts. Your these charts. So Mercury is at twenty three, and then Pluto is at twenty four. So you're getting a, a trine here. You know, look at look at this is where all the planets are retrograde. Look how many there are now. One. Oh yeah, that's right. Because there, there's going to be a, a a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically, Chiron, the node, they don't really, you know, count them, but they do, they do. But here we have five other major planets in, in retrograde. And then one of these others goes, not Mars, one of these others goes by the end of the month, by, by the 28th. So that's six planets. The only thing that's going to be forward moving is Mars. And we have to depend on this Mars energy. Because if we didn't have that, we would have been in hell right now. If we didn't have Mars going forward right now, we would have been in hell. It would have been like a hellish. It's not going to, you know, I mean, I'm not, from what a lot of the astrologers are saying, because I do follow them, it's it, it going to be a tough winter. It's going to be a tough winter. And we'll have to just look forward to um, Jupiter goes direct on like January 8th or something. So that's going to be like one little, because it's in retrograde now, that's going to be like one little positive, like one little beacon of open window into the room like you know shed some sun, shed some sunlight into the room but it's it, and then it goes back in retrograde but then jupiter you know it's gonna go into uh aries so it's all the way in aquarius right now it was already in pisces is it goes that way jupiter basically it goes from capricorn to to, to to aquarius then to pisces then to aries but it was already in pisces it went like almost halfway into pisces and then it retrograded it retrograded into aquarius so now, it's, it, now when when this next year it's going to go into Aries or was it 2023? I'm not going to check that now. But when Jupiter goes into Aries, I I turn into Superman because my moon is in Aries. You know, my moon is in Aries, just like this chart. What's the date here? Yeah, yeah I thought it was my my birthday because the moon was there. But uh, and then when Jupiter goes into Aries, it's happy in you know it's happy in Aries, fire, fire, you know, fire sign, fire sign. Uh, and, and then, uh, plus, I mean, it's a powerful, powerful energy where basically look when the sun, when Jupiter, it, it comes from Sagittarius and when it goes into Capricorn, 
I go through a depth, like a big, big depth. When Jupiter falls into Car Car uh, Capricorn right here, it's the, it's the bottom of the, you know, it's, it's hell, basically. And then even in Aquarius, and it, it only comes back to life, a Jupiterian person like me, I'm a Sagittarius with Jupiter, conjunct my son, conjunct Neptune, all in Sagittarius. I have Venus in Sagittarius, very close, Met Mercury, uh, and one other planet, Venus. Venus, so I have all my, I'm a true Sag, you know, so I'm a very, very, you know, like a deep spiritual uh, thinker, which like I'm, I'm, you know, like I'm like the liberator, you know, the liberator and the the mind, the mind freer, you know, I'm like, 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 like Morpheus, you know, that's what I consider myself. So anyway, that's what I'm doing with this, uh, with this channel. Goes from Sagittarius to Capricorn to Aquarius, and then it finally went into Pisces for a couple of you know for a couple of months early in the year, and then it retrograded into Aquarius. When it goes here, that's it. So what was I saying? And then um, that's it. Now let's look at the sun. Look, one degree Libra. That is the equinox. All right. That is the fall. Equal, uh, fall autumn equinox i like calling it fall equinox because we really do fall my body's already going through changes you start you start uh, you know within the next week we're going to start craving certain foods so we can increase our fat supply so we could survive in the winter this is all natural instinct so you have to watch yourself because if you have health conditions you know you you start getting you know you start getting these cravings for the wrong kind of foods so uh you know you don't get as much sunlight you have to have more clothes then you then we have to put socks on i hate putting socks on i hate socks i you know so um like right now i haven't i mean of course i had to put on socks if i go out in pants and you know and sneakers and stuff but you know at home or if i'm doing something i don't wear socks i have my five finger you know vibrams uh, Vibram sneakers, the five finger, five toes, and um, I don't wear socks with those. And uh, you know, I'm in shorts for these past few months. It's been summer, so it's been great. Uh, but it does have, you know, it does have its positive, you know, aspects and beauty. You know, uh, the fall. I, I mean, the oxygen. You know, the air gets cleaner. You know, the uh, sometimes the uh, the chemtrails don't affect us as much because somehow the cold air does something to it. So anyway. And then all oh, that was all, I, we're, we're in Pine Barrens region here on Long Island. So those pine trees, if you go running in the forest, you can get elated. You can have an outer body experience just by smelling those pine trees. If your body's detoxed to a certain uh, you know, degree, if you're all plugged up, you're not even gonna feel nothing. You're pr pretty much a deadhead. You know, you're like walking through life, living half, half a life. If you have never went through a serious detox, heavy metal detox, stuff like that. I like, you know, throwing this stuff in. All right. So next. So basically, this is the date. Wednesday, that's tomorrow, to 22nd of September, right, at 4 p.m., right? So I'm starting this series, right? And we're pretty much, it's going to be a speed round, speed round. I'm going to make all my documents, all the standard uh, documents. Actually, they're going to be, uh, you know, uh, premium documents. I'm going to make available, you know, free to download on my Google Drive. And then you're just going to bang them out, bang them out, bang them out. If you want to follow me, I'm, I'm the exact sequence I'm doing, you could do, you could do it now. You could do it next year. You could do it whenever. Uh, so we could start, you know, uh, so we could start getting some, you know, some secure, some safety and security, because these are all protection, you know, all these documents, they protect you. If you, if you don't know how to use them, that's a different story. But, you know, you know, start somewhere. The legal notice in demand is powerful. I recommend you read through it. I read through it numerous times, maybe six, seven, eight times, you know, uh, it's powerful. It gets me motivated. You know, it, it, it gives me visions of, 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 of like freedom, you know, it gives me visions of justice harmony, balance, you know, um, so, you know, and then we got, it's in Libra, it goes into Libra on the 22nd of September at 4 p.m. So now let's look at the other chart that I have here, which is when it goes away, you know, when it goes into Scorpio. Ah, when I, when, when uh, the sun goes into Scorpio and when it goes through from Scorpio, uh, right here, from, from Scorpio to Sagittarius, 
in these two months, oh man, I am king for a day because I'm a Scorpio rising and I'm a Sagittarius, but I have, a, you know, I have a Scorpio rising. So I do um, identify with, you know, the Scorpion energy, you know, uh, and, and what I have, this is like party all the time, but I use it for, I use the energy for work. This is where I make pretty much all the money. And then I stop in Capricorn because it gets too cold. Last year I did, I, but other times I worked straight through. But, you know, I'm not going to be working after the, like, you know, like the 10th or 15th of December, you know, because I want to like get out of the country. I, I don't like, unless I'm getting a lot of work done, I'll stay. But if, 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 if I feel like it, I'm going to skip town, you know, go either to Florida or to Puerto Rico. I think that's where I'm going to be. I'll become a notary there. Anybody wants to send me their documents overnight, I can send them out. Um, I can, I can, you know, do a notary presentment at the post office in Puerto Rico. I like Puerto Rico. They dance salsa there. I'm a salsa man. I play 13 instruments. I can dance. I can sing. Uh, I'm a, you know, I'm a showman. And, um, so basically I plan on being in Puerto Rico, if not sooner. So if I can make some money, you know, to basically support myself otherwise, and then maybe I can make some money, you know, with the group, you know, somehow, you know, through donations and, uh, you know, other items, you know, other items. So now uh, that's it. Now let's go. Oh, here it is. Zero. Right. So this is the sun. Look, see Libra. So it's just popping into Scorpio. Right. And you see, you notice how this kind of looks like the Virgo. So I get them confused, but this is it. Sun in Scorpio. All right. Zero degrees. Sun is, let's see if that planet went retrograde. Oh, no, look, it goes down to four. It goes down to four. Oh, look at that. Jupiter went out of retrograde. That's it. That's what I was telling you. One of them goes out of the retrograde. So I guess I was wrong. It was a little sooner. Uh, okay. Now, sun is in Scorpio at zero. What date is that? The 23rd of October. I am declaring and commanding to the world that I will have my first pack, my first treasury pack, my secured party credit, or first treasury pack to Puerto Rico. Uh, I declare and I command to the world to, uh, 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 to give me the assistance in any and all forms in, to assist me in completing my mission. Failure is not an option done um so shall it be you, you know you declare it what is the word declare means it means para declarar to de, you know to make clear to i'm making it clear i'm making a clarification that's why i call it uh, you got to make a declarification so you're clarifying it to the world those are my intentions and uh let's see what happens <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of work. I mean, the way I'm the crazy way I'm doing it. And then plus I'm not getting any cooperation. I want to do this right. So, so, you know, we'll, 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 we'll work on it. No, I just made the declaration. I'm getting it done. Okay. Starting now. Uh, so I went the fall equinox. I, you know, I just was researching this a little just to make sure it was the equinox and on September 21st, they're wrong. Uh, it's 22nd or it could be right, you know, because it is the 20, the first. But when I look at the chart, it was the 22nd. All right. Let me see if there's anything else. I'm done on here. Uh, Fibonacci Golden Mean. These are my files. I'm not going to go through anything else. Nah, I'm going to keep it at this. So this is going to basically follow up with this, the office supply video. It's an hour and 17 minutes. It's very thorough. Um, it's going to come up because I'm going to premiere this video that I'm making right this moment. You know, I'm going to premiere it at five o'clock because I'm I finding that the people resonate more when they get off work, you know, in the afternoon. And I'll, you know, I send a notification out and then, um, you know, the subscribers and stuff. And then you'll, you could watch it in the evening. So I'll make it at like five o'clock or maybe six o'clock because the people on the West Coast, then it'll be like four, five or four o'clock out there. Let me see, what's the difference? Is it two hours or four hours? Tom California. Californicating at 729, eight. Nine, ten, so it's three hours difference. If I put it out six, it'll be five, four, three. It'll be three o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know, I'm gonna keep it New York time, so I'm gonna do it at five o'clock. 
So you know, it'll be one o'clock over there. I want two, three, four. No, it'll be two o'clock uh, in California. So I'm putting it out at five o'clock because I have another one I'm going to put out at six. And then if I do another video, it's going to be at seven. Oh, this is what I want to mention. Anybody calls me, I'm, I'm recording. I, I'm, I record all my calls. So if anybody calls me to shout out, I, I make it clear that the, that the call is being recorded and I'm going to be putting them on YouTube because um, we talk about so much important information. So I'll either dub your, your, your name out if you don't want it, but if you give me authority, like I'll put I'll put your first name in and no no last name, you know. And then because every little bit helps. If somebody calls me, I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna turn them away. So like I you know I speak to people all the time. They call me you know because my phone number is all over the videos. Uh, it's you know six three one two eight one seven five zero zero. I don't mind. They can't if they because the the what do you call the haters and the agents? They can't call my phone because uh, I can put charges on them. If I don't put I put charges on them because I I'll, whoever the carrier is, I take them to court, and then when I take them to court with, with all these violations, I I I make the court um, command them to do. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's called uh, like to produce, you know, to produce the the person's information because it's a crime, and then and then they'll do it. So I'll, I'll find these people. So anybody, like I, I'm it's the first ten ninety nine. I'm doing. I'm I'm spending a hundred like a million dollars on a private investigator. I need a private investigator with a, with their own my own team designated to me because I'm not. That's the way I am. I I, I like to know everything. I like to know, or I want to be in control of my surroundings. So they, I'm going to have people around me. You know what I mean? And I, I need private investigators. I need security. I like, you know, uh, you know, they're not going to be right in front of my door, but you know, like I like to know that I'm secure. I like to know that I'm secure while I'm building tribe. Once you're building tribe, they can't penetrate the tribe. The tribe is all around you. You have that energy. They can't penetrate the vampires and parasites cannot penetrate tribe. They cannot. They cannot unless they find a way in like a like a like a like a parasite, you know, comes in. So that's this is the way this is how we're going to be cleaning up our communities, be in balance and harmony with our communities. If if the sheeple. If the sheeple, if you see they're not going to wake up, fine, let them do what they're doing, but provide for them. You're going to be paid. You're going to be paid. Do a soup kitchen, do little um, just like the schools do, how they have those little programs for kids Do programs to do, get a uh, what do you call a recreation center, you know, indoor recreation, greenhouse, sunshine all the time, 24 hours. No eight, no eight hour thing, 24 hour recreation center. It's gonna be warm in there in the winter. It's gonna be a hub, you know, and then and then there's gonna be levels. That's gonna be public. But if you have a private one for your own tribe, mm -mm, people have to have a passport. You teach people how to get a passport, you're gonna be stamping passports when they come into your tribal lands. I mean, this is the direction I'm going. There's nobody coming into my into my tribal lands. Uh, into my tribal lands that that I'm I'm because otherwise they're still in the New York you know United States Corporation jurisdiction you know but once you have a passport and you stamp that passport and then you could make like a speed ID where they have just like we have the passport card and the passport book they're gonna you know you you basically uh, you have them on 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 file and then they could just scan it you know I'm doing all of that all of that. And then, uh, you know, no passport, no entry into tribal lands. Definitely not. No. Um, so so they can stay on the public end, you know, on the public end of it. And that's it. All right. I think I went over. What did I say? All right. So I'm going to put I'm going to premiere these because it takes time. If I just publish it, it takes time for the uh, HD version to uh, buffer, you know, like to uh, kind of like get get HD version available. And then you wind up watching it and not being happy with it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So, you know, I'm co I covered uh, the, this series of videos that we're going to be doing here, which is the 55, you know, Fibonacci, golden mean ratio, part one, who knows, it could be like 30, you know, 40, we'll keep with this. And then we'll do another series, you know, of uh, 1099, or keep it, keep it connected to this, whatever. All right, minimize, minimize, minimize. I don't, I don't want to open up my email. So what do we got here? Okay, that's nothing. These are my emails. And that's it. So I'm going to stop sharing then this video. You know, if, uh, if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, you know, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up and, and like do the notifications so you can get 
um, you know, so you can know when I post videos and such. I'm I'm doing this almost like for a record for myself. So this is why I can look back and be like, look at this. <laughs> Look at this dumbass. Look at this dumbass. <laughs> what he's trying to do here. You know, I'm doing my best. I know it's helping somebody. So, you know, um, and then I guess I'm doing it for my kids and grandkids, you know, so they could see the whole process. They'll be looking at this laughing at grandpa, you know. <laughs> They'll be laughing at grandpa, watch a video, watch a video for, for entertainment one night, you know. And, uh, you know, so anyway, that's it. I'm going to end this, so I'm going to stop, share, and um, I will see you guys uh, later, talk to you either on the group or in chat. Ciao for now.